Hi, my name is Yana, and today I'm going to read about Mr. Beetle's Many Rooms. I chose this book because a lot of people in this world need to learn about sharing, and this book has a very good moral lesson, which is sharing. Let's get started. Mr. Beetle wanted a house, so he went into a, the middle of a field and found one. It was a tiny plant with five branches. He quickly unpacked his things and made himself at home. Mr. Peter then took a look at his house. His heart swelled with joy. As a finishing touch, he posted a sign in front of his house that read, this house of five rooms belongs to Mr. Beetle. No trespassing, please. But one morning, Mr. Beetle woke up to the sound of music playing. When he searched for the source of the music, Mr. Beetle found a terrible surprise. A few new branches had sprouted from the top of his house. There are rooms that have not been there before. On top of one branch sat Cricket, playing a guitar. Get off my house, Mr. Beetle cried. There's no room for you here. Please do try to relax, Cricket said. Do listen to facts. Five branches are yours, but the sixth one is mine. I'm only following what you wrote on your sign. Mr. Beetle knew that Cricket was right. There's nothing he could do. He wondered where these new branches came from. Why did he not see them before? That evening, he decided to wait on the topmost leaf to see if any new rooms would appear. Mr. Beetle waited and waited until he soon fell asleep. Mr. Beetle woke up the next way to a strange buzzing sound. Bzz, bzz, bzz. He was horrified to find that he was no longer in the topmost leaf. A new branch had spout, sprouted right above him. To make matters worse, the buzzing sound came from Bumblebee, who was busy moving his furniture. Stay away from my house, Mr. Brito cried. There's no room for you here. Your sign says five rooms, so the rest can't be yours. Bumblebee made a fist and decided to take these upper branch floors. Mr. Beetle could do nothing. Now that the rainy season was here, more and more rooms seemed to grow from the top of his house. When the sun came out, Mr. Beetle noticed that even the five branches of his house had grown thicker. How can I stop this house from growing? He cried. Rainers shine it's it keeps growing within a few months the house grew into a small tree all sorts of animals came to live above mr beetle's rooms a flyer fire came so did a spider two caterpillars one praying mantis a ladybug and a fly the time came when no one could barely notice Mr. Beetle's five rooms. One evening, Mr. Beetle sighed. I don't think this house is the right one for me. He recollectly packed his book, his fork, his toy, and his watering can. He carried his pillow and folded his bed. He studied his empty bedroom and gave it one final look. I will miss you, dear plant, he said. But before Mr. Beetle could find, could properly leave, all his neighbors leapt out of the field. They carried balloons and plates full of cake. Surprise! <laughs> they all cheered. Mr. Beetle, hooray! You, you founded our home a year ago from today. Mr. Beetle could not believe it. His neighbors picked him and flew him up to, to the roof of the tree where the most dazzling party had been prepared. Bumblebee made all the young additions. He turned out to be a magnificent chef. Cricket played his guitar all through the night. You've been a kind neighbor to let us all stay, he sang. We hope you're not serious about going away. 
Then they asked for Sir Beetle to give them a speech. There's just one thing to make our evening complete, he said. Everyone watched as Mr. Beetle took out his watering can and began to water roots of their small tree. The one you should think is this wonderful tree, Mr. Beetle said. It made rooms for us all and not just for me. So at the end of the day, before going to sleep, each one of them hugged their wonderful tree. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Good night. Bye-bye.